Right, Michelle, and before you can get inside to that cheerful, usual Disney experience, guests are going to see some strong reminders that they are visiting during the pandemic, and namely these signs that tell guests that by visiting, they are voluntarily assuming all risks associated with possible exposure to COVID-19, including severe illness or death. Throughout the shopping and dining complex, you'll see hand washing stations as well as markers and signs to encourage social distancing and everyone older than three has to wear a mask. No telling at this point whether visitors will be deterred by these measures or the pandemic itself. One pass holder told West 2 she has dining reservations for opening night. I don't have any concerns the day Disney opened the gates. I would be there. Um, I know they're doing what they need to do as a business to keep us all safe and I'll do whatever I need to do to help keep everybody else safe as well. As for capacity, Disney says they will only have two parking garages open and are going to stop letting guests in once those garages are full. Not all of the restaurants and stores are going to be open today, so we have a full list for you of what's open and what's not on WESH.com. As for the parks, Governor Ron DeSantis did say last week that they could start submitting plans to the state for reopening, but so far still no announcement on a potential reopening date. Michelle. All right. Thank you so much, Adas. <laughs>